In a previous video, we introduced search themes for Performance Max. If you're interested in that, you can check out this video right here. And in that video, I called out the prioritization that these search themes would have compared to your normal keyword targeting campaigns in Google Ads. After I thought about it a little bit, I thought it might make sense to have an entire video focusing on all of the prioritization levels for search campaigns in Google. So that's what brings us to this video today. We're going to run through from top to bottom all of the different prioritizations for different match types and targeting types in Google Ads to make sure that you have your account set up the way that you want. This Pay Media Pros video is sponsored by Optio, the smarter, more efficient way to manage Google Ads. Optio's platform operates as a second pair of eyes on your accounts, regularly monitoring performance trends to make data-driven optimization suggestions for keyword strategies, bid optimizations, ad copy creation, and more. Better yet, you can save time by implementing their suggested changes directly in their user-friendly interface. Optio is extending their free trial period for Paid Media Pros viewers for 60 days, meaning you get two full months of testing and using Optio on your accounts before you pay a dime. If you're interested in giving it a shot, click the link on the screen right now or in the video description to get started. I'm gonna be walking through multiple different stages of the same graphic from Google Ads that's gonna show us how each of these different keyword types are being prioritized. And I left the visual representation of priority visible throughout this whole slide. So at the top, you can see that it is top priority. At the bottom is the lowest priority. Pretty simple to follow. The first and highest priority is going to be exact match keywords that are identical to the search. So any keyword that you have that is exact match and matches perfectly to the search term that's being typed in is going to have the highest priority of any type of keyword in your account. Nothing will outrank it, and there are very few exceptions of when that will not show. We are going to cover a couple exceptions at the very end of this video, but for the most part, you can feel pretty confident that exact match keywords are going to outrank everything. The next level is going to be phrase and broad match keywords or search themes that are identical to the search. And the example that they use here is around skydiving licenses. They're going to use that for the entirety of this graphic. But here the search term skydiving license will match for the performance max search theme of skydiving license when it's a perfect match. But that will be equally as eligible as the phrase keyword skydiving. This is a bit of good news for anybody who's worried about performance max search themes stealing volume from phrase and broad match search terms. Those would have to match identically, and the phrase match has a little bit more wiggle room in there since it only has skydiving. This is the section of the graphic that I highlighted in that performance max search themes video. And depending on how you want to have your search terms mapped into your search campaigns versus performance max campaigns, make sure that you have negative keywords and match types set up appropriately so that you can always prioritize search keywords versus performance max search themes based on your preferences. Now beyond exact phrase and search themes, we start getting into AI or artificial intelligence based keyword prioritization. This is where Google starts to use their machine learning to make decisions about which terms or targeting options each search term should trigger in your account. So here they use an example of skydiving certifications near me. Let's assume that that could match to multiple different ad groups, some of which being skydiving license or skydiving courses for beginners. Based on Google's AI, it believes that skydiving courses for beginners is less relevant to skydiving certifications near me than skydiving license because license has a closer tie to the phrase certifications near me. Let's take a little bit of a deeper dive into the AI section. Here Google says that if your keywords are not identical to a search term, their AI based prioritization will ensure that only the most relevant broad match keywords are matched to a search term. Gotta love that they use broad match all the time since they're such fans of it but that the relevance is determined by the meaning of the search, all of the keywords in the ad group and landing pages within the ad group. So it's not just the search term and any other user behavior that Google is using for this. It also takes into account any of the other keywords and your landing page copy that you have in here to determine which is going to be the best choice. They elaborate a little bit more on a further example in the green chart, again, using skydiving certifications near me. And here they explain, and even though advanced skydiving courses might lean more into an advanced user, somebody who's trying to get a certificate, a course is not nearly as closely tied to a license as a certification. So depending on all of these different inputs, Google will make a choice using its AI to match which of your terms is most relevant to the search term. 
And that brings us to the last type of matching, ad rank. Here, if you have several search keywords or performance max search themes that have equal priority based on any of the different sections above, whether it's exact match, phrase and broad match, artificial intelligence, any of them, if they are equal at that point, we will then revert to ad rank. Now, if you've been in the paid search industry for a long time, you're probably pretty familiar with ad rank. But for those of you who haven't been in the industry a long time, or you're not as familiar with ad rank, let's get a little bit of a refresher. Ad rank is used to determine your ad position or whether your ads will show at all. And it is calculated using your bid amount, auction time ad quality, including those metrics that make up your quality score, like expected click-through rate, ad relevance, and landing page experience, the ad rank thresholds, the competitiveness of an auction, the context of the person's search, and the expected impact of assets and other ad formats. Now that's a lot, but what that means is that ad rank is basically the culmination of all of the inputs that you've had on your side, the ad itself, your bid amount, as well as all the external factors, like the user's search intent and behavior and your competitor's ad rank, and then decides where you show up in the auction. This is calculated every time your ad is eligible for an auction, but it's only going to be the determining factor in prioritization within your account when all other metrics are equal. Now, one thing that they didn't call out in the prioritization chart is around dynamic search ads. So I did wanna call these out because they've been a favorite tool of mine for quite a while. And I think a lot of people are still using them, even though it seems like Google would prefer you to probably start to roll those into Performance Max. So when it comes to prioritization for dynamic search ads and Performance Max versus keywords, DSA and Performance Max ads that do not have search themes are equivalent to keywords that don't exactly match the search term. So that means they're gonna find themselves in that AI section since none of the keywords match exactly to the search term, and they will be based on Google's machine learning as to which would take priority for DSA, Performance Max, or any other keywords in the account. So if a keyword isn't an exact match to the search term, DSA and Performance Max are going to be ranked based on ad rank in comparison to other search keywords. So DSA and Performance Max without search themes is going to go directly to the bottom of that chart and revert to ad rank for the prioritization. As we've said in the previous video, Performance Max campaigns with search themes included will be that second tier of prioritization where phrase and broad match exist. Now to close out, there are a few exceptions that I teased earlier in the video. One reason that your account might not follow this prioritization chart is if you have a campaign that's limited by budget. Let's say that you are following what's probably an outdated campaign structure where you have the exact match version of a keyword in one campaign and you have a broad match version of that keyword in a second campaign. In all instances, your exact match keyword should be the one that is triggered. But if that campaign budget is limited and you're running out of budget, Google will likely send the traffic to the broad match keyword since your campaign is limited in exact match. In a similar vein, if you have something set up in your search campaign or performance max campaign that isn't eligible to trigger an ad, like a disapproved ad, or you're targeting a different location, your ad still won't show with a prioritization chart above. And then lastly, if an ad format doesn't compete with your search keywords or performance max search themes. In this instance, Google makes the example of having a shopping campaign run alongside your search campaign. There may be instances where a shopping ad will be triggered, even though you have an exact match keyword that would match perfectly to that search theme. Overall, these exceptions are pretty limited. Aside from the shopping campaigns, the other two are certainly within your control to make sure that you have everything eligible to trigger and you're not limiting your campaigns by budget or just not even having campaigns separated by match type in the first place. Overall, the prioritization chart in Google search campaigns is pretty simple but it's important for you to know so that when your ads are triggering, you're putting your best foot forward for that most accurate match and giving yourself the best chance to convert that audience member. If you have any additional questions about how search prioritization works or how Performance Max and DSA and search campaigns work together, feel free to leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.